Hello everyone, I'm Jay and welcome to my channel AskJay.com. Today we are going to talk about CISM, Certified Information Security Manager. CISM endorsement process or verification process. ISACA calls them verification process. As you can see, my CISM certificate over here, the blue one, uh, it's, um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's uh, put up, uh, <laughs> upright. So anyway, um, what happens after you're passing the exam? Congratulations, first of all, on passing the exam. If you haven't prepared, if you haven't passed, if you're preparing for it, hey, all the best. Um, you can do this, right? So after passing the exam, CISM requires you to have uh, at least five years experience in at least three of the domains. But if you have like other certifications like CISSP, you can waive um, up to two years experience. So you can you can you only need three years uh, experience, right? So what happens for the verification? After you're passing the exam, you need to um, apply for the verification. I think you can do this um, before you pass the exam as well. You can start the process, right? You don't apply. You can download the form and, uh, you know. So ISACA says you need to, one of your ex-managers who directly managed you um, has to verify your experience, right? They have to put in saying, oh yeah, I know this person, uh, he worked in so and so. The form itself has a number of boxes. You can go tick, 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 and then send it to your manager. They will um, fill in their details. They will say, yeah, 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 and the domains and all that, and then you go submit. You have to pay $50 for processing fee, uh, and you would have to be ISACA member. I believe but anyway I joined the ISACA member because I was uh, trying to buy QAE database from ISACA I saw members uh, member rate is hundred dollars cheaper than non-member rate so I just just joined but the verification process is yes that's that so you will fill in your details your manager will fill in their details they will say whatever they have to say about you and check the boxes there was both you both sign you sign your manager sign and then you upload it to you know through ISACA portal and then a few weeks later they will email you in my case I passed the exam in December 2020 and I started the verification I think in February early February and uh, uh, it took me a couple of weeks um, once I uploaded uh, before I got the notification from ISACA saying actually I got a notification um, saying hey we, we apologize we are receiving so many uh, applications just now so we we are there is a backlog or whatnot something along those lines and then two days later I received the notification your verification process is completed here is your certificate you are now fully certified right and then I think two or three weeks later just last week <laughs> to be honest um, I received the physical certificate you see over here and um, yeah that's what happens after you pass the exam the certificate is beautiful it's nice I have done a you know, unboxing the ISACA CISM certificate. Please go and watch my video uh, here, here. Uh, I'm not sure how it comes up on YouTube. I need to find out next time. Uh, but that's that. You pass, you 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 will ask uh, one of your ex-managers to verify your experience. I did hear people saying, hey, it doesn't have to be a manager. It can be a colleague because it has options, right? Colleague, uh, client, or a manager. Um, but it does mention at the top, somebody has to directly um, you know directly manage you so just in, in case I went for my previous manager I just asked him can you do this for me and he said yeah yeah happy to do so <laughs> thanks Tom <laughs> right and then um, it was verified we're all good so I hope that helps you thank you very much for watching the video if you like it you know if you if you find it useful please do like and subscribe to my channel until next time you have a nice one.